July has arrived, so let's go over the items picked up in June of 2024. First up are these two pieces, one hailing from Mexico and the other from Serbia. The Mexican piece is a rather peculiar one as at first glance from the pattern, as well as tags, it appears to be a commercial TrueSpec brand camouflage. However, when looking closer, you can see that it has a state police emblem embedded into the design. And looking at the still attached tag, it confirms that the company does make, or in this case modifies, patterns for official use. Next to it is a nice heavier coat bearing Serbia's older oak leaf pattern provided by Gear Rack, which actually helped with some pieces and information on the recently released dual South Korean Araki M76 M80 helmet video. You can check out their website site for a bunch of other surplus and use the code UNIFORMHISTORY10 for 10% off your first order. But moving not too far away from Serbia are these pieces which hail from Greece and Cyprus. On the left are two variants of Greece's lizard camouflage, specifically a hat bearing the Air Force's blue variant and a tan version worn for more arid and desert operations. Being that the country is in the process of replacing all existing ones with an updated version, it makes sense that some excess stocks will be making their way onto this surplus market. Next to it is an unissued set of Cyprus's primary camouflage pattern, which has been going strong for over 20 years now, with really the only change being the addition of an emblem of the National Guard. That being said though, as of late, more and more photos showing certain units wearing newer designs, such as a multicam clone, are appearing, so its days may be numbered. Finally, to wrap up this month is a very bizarre but fun camouflage coming from the realms of the internet, but technically Finland in a tangible sense. The Ian Pat uniform made by Varus de Leica. Created a number of years ago as a sort of joke poking fun at Ian of forgotten weapons, the design is made up of an image of him smearing cosmoline on his face. And as a part of a sort of April Fool's Day promotion, Varus de Leica partnered with him to create a limited edition line of items bearing the design. Though this isn't something that's often collected here, it was too good to pass up, and since receiving it, the idea of a video on more esoteric and, for a lack of a better term, meme camouflages, has been considered, so maybe keep an eye out in the future for that. But until then, that wraps up this month. Be sure to check back again in August for all the items picked up in July. See you all then.